Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Malik Arjun. Uh, today I'm doing a quick announcement uh, regarding my uh, track course, uh, Real Application Cluster. Uh, in fact, uh, this is going to be a much awaited course because uh, you know so many months, uh, many of you guys are uh, regularly uh, keep uh, pinging me and keep posting me regarding uh, when I'm gonna start my rack page. And then, uh, and then what are the content for the rack batch? And then how the course content is gonna look like and what are the class timings? And then what's the course fees? And then so many questions, you know, regularly used to come from you guys. And, you know, I was like, keep on waiting uh, you guys. And then finally I decided I uh, uh, made a curriculum and then uh, I built a course content based upon my entire uh, 12 to 13 years of whatever uh, DBA experience with the real time exposure. Uh, I prepared a course content and uh, here I'm gonna represent how the course content is gonna look like and what are the topics I'm gonna cover and then how the timings for this particular batch is gonna be scheduled. So I think I'm gonna cover it in this uh, quick uh, video. Uh, the, the rack batch is gonna start by end of this January, 2022. In fact, uh, 22nd Jan 2022. That's going to be a weekend. Uh, it's going to be 22nd. Uh, that's a Saturday, uh, 22nd Jan 2022. So that's a start time, uh, start date for my rack batch. So if you are going to interested in to look interested for looking for rack curriculum or rack course, what are the course content and what it what it contains and what are the topics involved. So you can just go to my blog malik 4 blogspot.com and then click on trainings and uh, rack which will give you uh, the curriculum or you can directly click on this particular uh, link will it will take you to the uh, course curriculum in fact uh, you can go to malik 4 blogspot.com and click on this training and click on this rack course and then you will pretty much uh, see the rack course what it contains so oracle rack course so uh, it start with the introduction to the clusterware and then followed by clusterware architecture. Again, it has so many subtopics inside that. And then starting with the uh, installation of your Linux and configuration of your Linux. And then, you know, once you do the configuration of your Linux and you can clone it and do a multiple nodes for the rack configuration. And then which includes your network setting, network configuration. And then at the, once you done with your, uh, cluster your node or Linux setting, and then you will go ahead and install your install and configure your clusterware. And then after that, you are going to install your Oracle home or the rack Oracle home, and then followed by creating a couple of disk groups. And then finally, you are creating your uh, rack database, which includes a lot of uh, subtopics. What are the pre-checks, post-checks, and how to create a shared disk and how to create a disk groups and all those covers as part of this, all the pre-checks and post-checks. And then we'll start with the ASM architecture and internal understanding of ASM and rack, how it works, and what is the advantage of ASM with the rack clusterware? Uh, what, what's the, uh, how many ASM instance, how many rack cluster nodes, and then how, what's the storage component of my ASM uh, internally, whatever like uh, comes under ASM, uh, starting from the installation with the administration and then creating a disk group, dropping a disk, and then doing some uh, admin activities uh, with the ASM. So we'll see all of them here, uh, along with this uh, admin guide for your ASM, uh, creating a disk group, dropping a disk group, adding a disk and uh, dropping a disk, and then re uh, monitoring that disk group rebalance operation. Everything you can see it uh, in case of, uh, as part of your administration uh, ASM guide. And then we'll start with the clusterware and database administration, how to manage, how to troubleshoot your clusterware, uh, issues, how to uh, troubleshoot your database issues, uh, what is CLCTL uh, versus SLCTL, and then common reboot, uh, node reboot issues, how to reboot your cluster node, and then if the cluster is not coming up, what to check, which log to check, everything we're going to see it here, which are common issues with your clusterware and database, and then we'll deep dive into clusterware administration, uh, OCR, voting disk, VIP, scan IP, public IP, and all of them will be covered here. And then we'll deep dive into a uh, database administration to what is like rack specific parameter, how, how the P file and SP file are formed in my rack database. And then how the password file is kept, how the read lock control files, how the table spaces are 
managed within my rack database so everything will be covered here and then uh, rack database backups and recovery scenarios how to take a uh, rack database backups and restores and recoveries and different scenarios how to restore your control file how to restore your sp file how to restore your data file and how to restore your entire database everything you know different different scenario we're going to see it here and then one interesting topic that will be like your uh, listener services in your cluster where what are the different listeners and what are the use cases of that like asm listener scan listener database listener remote listener local listener and then what are the ports are used and uh, how i can register my listener with clusterware so all of them we're going to see it as a to separate topic of uh, listener in clusterware and then we'll start with a multi tenant architecture uh, with a rack database how you're going to create cdb pdb with a two node rack, three node rack, and you know, uh, how to create a PDB inside that with a, a two node, three node, four node, whatever the cluster node, uh, and then how to create a PDB within one CDB, how to, uh, then how to uh, export and import it into some other PDBs, how to clone that PDB. So everything we're gonna cover it in respect to your rack database. And then how to configure your ACFS. ACFS is also one of the uh, added or advanced feature of my uh, ASM. Uh, storage like uh, ACFS stand for you know ASM cluster file system. So that's going to be one of the brilliant feature. And then how to mount that particular ACFS mount point, how to manage that ACFS mount point. Everything we are going to see it here. And then we are going to understand rack one node in deep, and then how to relocate that rack one node from one node to other node. Like you know, all of them will be seen here. And then uh, patching your rack database and clusterware, how to patch your ASM, how to patch your clusterware, how to patch your uh, rack database home, and then how to patch your rack databases, and then how the data patch work, how the OPatch work, how the OPatch auto will work. So everything we're going to cover it here. And then understanding of your rack and uh, 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 upgrading your rack uh, database, uh, or like you can convert your rack one node to rack database or non rack to rack. Oh, it will be like part of your pre-check activities. And then finally, when you're dealing with your rack database upgradation with a two node rack, three node rack and four node rack, what are the prerequisites you're gonna take it, how you're gonna upgrade your rack database. So all of them who are gonna see it here. And that includes upgradation of your uh, Oracle cluster where your ASM upgradation from 11G to 12C and 12C to 19C, your entire cluster where upgradation and our database upgradation. So those are like two different tasks everything we're going to cover it as part of your upgradations and then node addition and removal so i have two node rack i need to add one more node into my cluster where and then i have four node rack i need to remove one node from my cluster how to node addition node deletion everything will be covered here and then converting your single instance to rack if you have like single instance database how you're going to convert using dbca using enterprise manager or using r config so many other methods you can uh, follow them and then finally, uh, we'll cover some of the resume and cover letter writing along with the uh, common interview questions on each and every topic. And then at the last, we're gonna cover a uh, mock interview for uh, entire course and or enter the entire uh, students who are opting for this course. We're gonna conduct mock interview and then uh, make them familiar with the rack questions and you know we'll give you some guidance and tips how to crack the interview uh, especially when you're applying for the rack positions rack administration positions right so these are like a uh, uh, fundamental needed uh, topic as a rack administrator uh, who's going to do day in and day out activities uh, as part of his daily routine so and then having said that this is not limited to only these topics as we progress on uh, each topics on on daily basis and then if there are any new topics or new uh, uh, you know sessions need to be conducted which are like you know out of the syllabus so that will be included as part of extra classes and then that also will be covered uh, along with this course right so that's uh, just a quick overview of uh, my rack course content how it looks and then where you can browse it and then uh, having said that, I'm gonna conduct a demo classes on 22nd Jan and 23rd Jan. That will be on Saturday and Sunday, 22nd Jan and 23rd Jan. That will be like Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and then uh, this is a Zoom link to attend the demo classes. Feel free to use this Zoom link and attend uh, those two days demo classes. And then demo class timing will be 8 a.m. IST to 10 a.m. IST, two hours on Saturday, and then two hours on 
Sunday, again, January 22nd, 2022, 8 a.m. IST to 11 a.m. IST, 23rd Jan 2022, 8 a.m. IST to 10 a.m. IST, two hours Saturday and Sunday. So you can use uh, you can use this particular Zoom link to attend uh, that particular uh, demo sessions. And then uh, where I'm going to cover more in depth of each and every topics, and then I'm going to explain some of the basic concept of uh, rack and then how a rack course is going to help for uh, DBA uh, long career. Uh, everything will be covered in those demo classes. And then along with that, uh, what are the topics and in depth, uh, how I'm going to uh, uh, how, how I'm going to tune this particular course as a career success. So that will be like more to talk on that. So feel free to join Zoom link uh, on 22nd and 23rd, and then we'll discuss more on that. And then question comes to your mind how to register for this course, right? So you can go to same blog, malikjyoti for blogspot.com and then check for announcement and click on the uh, link provided and then do register. We can go here and then announcement and click on this link and then you can register yourself. Or you can directly go to this particular link and then register for yourself. Or you can ping me on my WhatsApp number. Uh, that's uh, plus 91-9006168848. And uh, I can share more details and then I can uh, take your registration, right? And then you might have a question after you do register whether uh, your uh, enrollment is confirmed or not, right? So once you register either of this link or by pinging me personally, uh, you have to make a payment. And then once the payment is done, and then you have to send me the screenshot along with your uh, email ID. Uh, once you done with your registration, you have to make a payment using uh, any of the payment method, whatever mentioned below here. And then you have to send a screenshot along with your email ID uh, on my WhatsApp number or to my email ID. And then I'll acknowledge uh, your uh, confirmation. I'll, ge I'll get back to you with acknowledgement, right? And then uh, the next question might be uh, how to make a payment, right? So. Payment can be done uh, either of two methods, whatever I mentioned here. You can make a payment uh, by using a bank transfer. I'm gonna share a bank details uh, once you're done with the registration. Or uh, if you want to do with a payment by using e UPI method, either Google Pay or Phone Pay or, uh, or whatever method, like you can uh, use this particular Phone Pay number or Google Pay number. And the interesting part, uh, obviously, uh, it's a paid course which is going to be uh, 15K INR, Indian rupees. That's a course fees. So it's a, you can either do a one-time payment or you can do a, a you know, on, the, on a request basis, uh, you can ping me personally. If you are unable to make a payment, you can ping me personally. Uh, we'll uh, figure it out how we can uh, take it further, right? So this is like one-time payment, you have to make it. And then if you have any challenges in uh, fees or like, whatever the concern you have it, you can talk to me one-to-one -one personally and then we'll figure it out how we can uh, take it further. Right, so this is uh, a 15K INR, Indian rupees. Uh, and then uh, that's a course fees for this entire course, whatever I framed. And then further details uh, for the course are going to be, uh, this is going to be on a weekend batch. It means uh, the classes will be only on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's not gonna be on the weekdays. It's gonna be only on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And then uh, uh, on those weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, every day will be like four hours. Uh, classes will be conducted uh, four hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday. Uh, the class timing is going to be 8 a.m. IST to 12 a.m. IST. Uh, it's uh, going to be four hours on Saturday and four hours on uh, Sunday. And then the course duration will be like five to six weekends, approximately like 40 to 48 hours. Uh, that's a course uh, duration. So, and then uh, this is like a date, whatever uh, planned as of now. So I'm, I I hope this is gonna be like finalized plan. Uh, it is subjected to change at the last minute, but uh, almost I can confirm this is 99%. The dates and timings are all uh, fixed and then confirmed, but uh, it is again subjected to last minute or last two minute changes. Uh, yeah, that we can, be, we can figure it out later part. Right, so as I said, like 22nd and 23rd, uh, Saturday and Sunday are going to be two demo classes every day, two hours, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. IST, 8 a.m. IST to 10 a.m. IST. Feel free to join these two demo classes using those above Zoom link. 
and then followed by next weekend that's the 29th jan so if i go here 22nd and 23rd are going to be demo classes and then followed by uh, consecutive weekends like 29 30 and then february 5th and 6th and then go further uh, february 12th and 13th february 19th and 20th and then february uh, 26th and 27th and then march 5th and 6th so these are like uh, dates uh, on each weekends uh, that's going to be saturday and sunday uh, four hours class each day 8 a.m ist to uh, 12 a.m ist so this is like as uh, as of now a uh, scheduled plan and i can say it is 99 percent is confirmed date and timings are all fixed so we will uh, go as per this schedule and then a uh, few of the interesting point about this course i think who are registered for my database course they already uh, are aware of this but still i'm gonna cover it right now once you do a registration by making payment and then you are you're gonna share the, your uh, gmail id and I'm going to grant access on my Google Drive where you're going to get your all uh, uh, PPTs and then workbook, lab material, softwares, and all the patches, and then ready VM machines, all the previous batch recordings, and daily uh, session logs, and then other tools and software, whatever needed for this course. Everything will be provided in advance. And then uh, we'll all be uh, set uh, on that particular date. And then some of the key notes for this RAC course. Uh, as I said, like it's going to be weekend batch and Saturday and Sunday, and each day it will be like four hours classes. And then I usually call it as a rack workshop because I don't say that it's a training because workshop that leads every day, whatever the topics we're going to cover, whatever we're going to teach it theoretically, everything will be demonstrated in the lab with a real time uh, exposure. And then uh, along with me, all you guys are going to execute whatever the commands I'm going to execute, right? So that, you know, it will be like more interactive. And then rather than theoretical classes, it's going to be like live practical demonstration. That's where, you know, I preferably used to call it as a rack workshop rather than rack course or the rack training. And then each theory and live demonstration on each of topic, uh, theory and live demonstration on each and every topic. So everything will be shown on the lab by executing each and every uh, topic, whatever we cover on, on day in, day out. And then daily session logs or daily sessions and daily logs, whatever we execute will be, everything will be uh, recorded and then uploaded to Google Drive on the same day. And then lab, quiz, workbook, tools, all the softwares are given in advance. And then each topic will be having a quiz and multiple choice answer. And then you can rewind, you can uh, go through all those questions and answers. And then uh, daily practical tasks will be assigned and then reviewed in the next day. Uh, and then how we can come up with that particular questions and what was the answer for that. Like we, every day we'll give some assignment, we'll ask some questions and then next day we'll rewind all those questions and we'll uh, answer it, right? So that's a daily like, you know, interactive session. And then this course will be covering a real time demonstration and example based upon whatever experience I have it. And then at the end, we're gonna cover some resume and cover letter writing tips so that you know you can apply for the new positions and then uh, we'll be reviewing uh, we'll be reviewing all the rack related interview questions and answers at the end and then we'll be sharing some of the common questions interview questions and answer you can go through that that will help you for a new job searching or new job hunting then after the end of this course, obviously, like we'll be conducting some mock interviews and then that will help you or that will give you some boost or confidence in, in attending the uh, rack interviews. And then in fact, uh, we'll be giving some of the tips uh, on, on those Mac interviews, how to track, how to crack your interview and then how to uh, give a good impression on, on, the, on the day of interview, uh, on the actual interview, wherever you are uh, attending. So those are like uh, real time experience, whatever we are covering here. All right, so that's a quick uh, introduction or quick uh, update on my new uh, course. That's a rack real application cluster. So again, one more time, it's gonna start uh, on 22nd Jan. Again, 22nd and 23rd Jan, 2022 are gonna be demo classes. Don't miss those demo classes. Uh, will be a lot more to cover in those demo classes. In depth, I'm gonna go on each and every topic. I'm gonna explain that, how this topic is formed and what is the internal content. And then along with that, how this RAC course is gonna helpful for, uh, as a RAC expert uh, for the new job or with this course, how you're gonna uh, get the job uh, in as a rack 
I'd been a RAC expert in any of the organization. So everything will be like pros and cons will be discussed uh, on those demo classes. Uh, and then uh, followed by the next weekend will be like regular classes uh, who will register for my course. And then we'll be giving the new Zoom link or, 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 or training link. And then we'll be having a separate WhatsApp group for that particular uh, can like students who are registered. So we'll be creating a separate WhatsApp group. And then all the further communication is going to happen in that particular WhatsApp group. Right, so that's a quick uh, intro about my new class. That's a rack batch. So if any further questions or queries, you can comment uh, here in this video section, or you can always feel free to ping me on my WhatsApp number uh, and then get more details on this course. Uh, thank you guys.